Hi, I'm Mark from Exava, and today I'm going to show you one of our short training videos. Maxava configurations. Maxava configurations are set up to perform the monitoring and replication of data, objects, IFS, MQ, or QDLS. Information can be referenced from the Maxava operations guide. There is example details and information shown in the operations guide starting at setup replication. And if you go through the material, this will show you the details in relation to setting up the component tree and performing the replication setup. When you wish to set up a Maxava configuration, you will need the Maxava code installed on the systems. You'll need a valid local journal. You'll need remote journaling attached, which will be transporting the data to the target side. To set up a Maxava configuration, you can either choose to use the Maxava green screen via the MX work replication command, MXWRK RPL. This will allow you to use the F6 function key. You can choose your standard, which is data and object, IFS, which is integrated file system, MQ, which is the iSeries MQ, and the QDLS, which is the DLO document folder. Each one of these is a separate configuration type, and they support the objects that belong to those types. From the graphical user interface, to get to the same setup process, you right click on the system name, choose configuration options, add new configuration. If you wish to perform an IFS configuration create, then you'll choose yes to continue. If you wish to choose a data, MQ or QDLS type, then select no from the window. This provides a secondary interface, which again, you can give the name and you can choose whether it is a data, an MQ or a QDLS. When you create your configuration, you can give it a name, choose the type, and this will display a window which will allow you to input the details relevant to that configuration type. Configurations are either primary or backup. If it is a target machine and you're creating the backup replication configuration, then it will be the backup type. If it's the source system, then you'll choose the primary type. The local node name is the system that you're setting up on. The local journal name for that environment and the library that it resides in, a message queue that you wish to use to send messages to. This can be any message queue you've created or exists, or you can use the QSysOpper message queue, and the job description that will belong to the environment. From the green screen, again, it's the same requirements for a name, and again, you have the same list of details. The Maxava configuration is made up of three main components for a data object type configuration. There is the configuration description, then there is the apply groups, which is created as a secondary step, and then there is the assignments, which is the names of the files and objects and libraries that you wish to monitor for. You go through each of the steps creating the configuration description first, then adding the apply groups, and then setting the assignments. For the integrated file system or IFS, there are two components. There is the configuration description, and then you set the assignments, which is the path names that you wish to replicate. For the MQ environment, there is the configuration description, and then the name of the MQ manager that you're monitoring for. And for the QDLS, there is the description, 
and then the names of the QDLS paths and documents that you wish to monitor for. The additional details of apply groups, assignments, paths and manager will be shown in the next version of the Maxava configuration setup video. Look online for other Maxava training videos and thanks for watching.